Uchisar Castle is in a small town called Uchisar and you can reach there by driving from Göreme or you can take a nice hike up through the beautiful Love Valley. Uchisar Castle is in the highest point of Cappadocia, promising an amazing view when you reach up there. In 15th and 16th century, this castle used as a defense point and it is said that around 1000 people were living up there in this castle but history goes back even further than that. This area may have been occupied much earlier by the Hittites. When you reach the castle, you will climb up so many stairs, but believe me, your reward will be amazing. So we just reached, the castle is right behind us. We yeah, walk there. now we will walk there. And weather today, luckily very nice. There is sun. It's cold and the sun yeah. is very hot, so it's like the perfect combination. Okay, let's walk. We just entered the castle, museum card is not valid here, so we needed to pay 30 lira each for getting a ticket. Now we will climb up, 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 up to the highest point. There are the castle rooms here, and I see they show some artwork here, very nice. So this castle will be full of this kind of rooms. We are in the first floor right now. And it is actually very cold here, right? Inside? Inside is very cold. As you can imagine, like it's yeah. a rock. Cold and not safe. Yeah. And funny thing, like nobody is actually wearing a mask, which is kind of worrying me. And but this we, one is also not wearing a mask. I saw the video and there is no one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to uh, hug other people. And some <laughs> one, one interesting information. It is said that in this castle during Byzantine times, 1,000 people were living. That's amazing. It doesn't look that big though. It is. We go. This uh, we just saw nothing, right? Okay. And we will climb the up, outside stairs. Okay. Let's go. Look at this view. This is really unique and magical. I don't know you can find this kind of place in anywhere in the world. So nice. And we will go up there. Let's go. You know, that whole area, it looks like some other planet altogether. It doesn't look like Earth anymore. Yeah. And last time we came, we stayed somewhere here. Now we are in the Göreme side. Everywhere here is nice. Everywhere is nice. Like, I like the place we stayed right now too. So much. Look at this. You can see the caves from here. But then there are thousands of caves. And if weather was nice, we would take that walk again. From when you start from here somewhere and you walk all the way in the valley trek nicely up and down and then you reach Göreme but now it's so snowy and uh, icy we decided not to do that but when you come you can totally do that so nice and that valley is full of millions of caves now we are climbing the stairs from outside See all those little places? It's incredible. I was just telling, in the valley side, when you walk, also you see millions of caves. Small, small.
We almost made it to the summit. How you feel? <laughs> summit, summit of the castle. How you feel? I feel good. Yeah, the wind is amazing. The weather is amazing. View is amazing. The view is amazing. You can see pretty much all of Cappadocia from here. So we are almost there, and as you can see, we are completely sweaty. We are speaking. This cold and uh, sweat combination is But kind of weird. Yeah. But when you climb more than almost hundred uh, stairs, you sweat. No matter what. Yeah. Even though outside is minus. Now we are waiting for other people to come down. So we can have the summit to our, ourselves. It's a little bit crowded there. I don't no? think it will ever happen because like people are keeping so on coming up. Let us let's wait a little bit. Okay. Then we will go to that uh, Turkish flag. So meanwhile, just enjoy the view there. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. He decided to climb over. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was a stairs up there. We were down there. See how much we climbed. <laughs> But it's worth to see this view. Yeah, this is the highest point of the castle, and this is the highest point in all of Cappadocia, I think. And I can't even speak. It's amazing. You have to come here. You have to see this view from here. Because camera just doesn't give the justice. Yep, it does not. From here you can see all the small, small, those hill thingies. I don't know what that is. Fairy chimneys. Fairy chimneys. Yeah, that's what they're called. And it has like full of small, small, tiny caves. It's amazing. Probably in ancient times people were living there. If you come to Turkey, this is one place you you cannot miss. Uh, we will enjoy the view a little bit more here, and we will climb down. And we'll see you there. You know. We actually, if you can see, it's actually very high up there. Yeah, sure. And the views are so amazing that we didn't even realize that we climbed up so high. Okay, we drove back to our place, and while driving here, we just saw that in the restaurant we were searching yesterday was actually. In front of us, so we decided to give a chance. We will go and try something in the restaurant right now. I can already hear Indian music there. <laughs> it smells so nice already. Are you excited? They're checking the menu right now. We will order some stuff. So the good thing is they have a lot of veg options. So I'm happy with that. And I'm hopeful because the meal is so nice. And the prices look okay. They're not too expensive or anything. Yeah, no, no. So what did we order? So we ordered a samosa, which is kind of weird. It's like who orders samosa in the restaurant? But it's But a good test. Yeah, it's it's a good test. So we ordered samosa. We ordered butter naan. We ordered chole masala and masala papad. Yeah. So masala papad is here. Samosa is here. Take a bite. Let's try chutney also. We just without shirt, huh? Okay. Hmm. Oh. 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 Hmm. It's so good. Good chutney now. Hmm. Nice. We have our chole. Looks pretty good actually. Look at that. Yeah. It smells so good. Take one samosa. Very close to authentic. But if you compare with other ones, which one? Very bad. Which one is the best? Which one is the best? Which one is the 
Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now let's just uh, attack the food. Let's attack the food. Don't look any king. Yeah, good. Obviously, everything is like a little less spicy compared to an Indian restaurant. But what do you expect? Perfect. All foreigners are coming here. So, no complaints. So we finally finished eating at the Indian restaurant. Yeah, and you can see for more faces. <laughs> You're kind of happy, yes. Yes. Uh, it's it's. I, I don't know if it's because it's been three years since I went to a proper Indian restaurant. No, the food was good. It was really good. That's why we ordered the second dish, and I mean we were so much doubtful. We said in the beginning, and at least now that we can see that it was a very nice restaurant. It was so tasty, and people who worked there they were so nice. They were so friendly. They kept coming and asking us if. We need anything if you liked it and all. So we totally advise you to come and try Indian food here in this restaurant if you're here. Yeah, I think I will leave a good review. Yeah. <laughs> now let's go to room and rest a little bit. Okay. Hola. After this food we need sleeping. Okay. I think we'll have our leftover cake as dessert today. And then later on we will be going to the cafe. We'll go to a hookah cafe because somebody cannot live without their shisha. It's in my Ottoman blood. But... You know, right? Indians invented hookah and I'm not even smoking it's anything. It's Did you know this? Indians invented hookah. It was invented in Rajasthan, I think. Come on, it went inside. Yeah, make it up. And then? And then turn to right side. To and unlock. Yeah. Yay. Okay, now we will rest and turn back. Good evening, it's around 9 p.m. now. We got rest and uh, we watched some TV and now we came to actually this cafe is next to our place <laughs> it's one minute away and uh, we came to have some drinks and have a uh, shisha and I like the decoration here because they have this my favorite old Turkish movie posters it's so sweet this movie my favorite all these old actors so sweet and there are a few people only, so it's like this place is ours. It's like a private party. I mean, this section is just us. Let's uh, check some drinks and we'll do some warm drinks. I have mocha. So. What is espresso campana? It looks fancy. Yeah, we can ask. Yeah. Black, our coffee's game. He ordered uh, chocolate mocha and I ordered latte. Good? So good. Our shisha and our coffees came and look who is smoking shisha like professionals. I generally hate smoking, but if you're doing something, do it really well. Ooh. There were a couple of cycles. Yep, do it again. Oh. <laughs> it's not consistent, <laughs> like you can see. Okay, professional, but not that much. Oh, yeah, what coming? Mashallah. <laughs> so, even though shisha is uh, invented by Indians, I read somewhere, but it's like it's Turkish and Ottoman culture, and once you come to Turkey, you have to try once. And you can go for something fruity and something not so heavy, so you won't feel bad. Yeah, it happened. Not that good. <laughs> you are sitting just there. It's called Viewpoint. It's a very nice place. View is amazing. Coffee was amazing. And the hospitality was so good. So whenever you come to Gurime, we advise you to visit this place. It's 10.30 now. We are planning to wake up very early. And we want to watch the sunrise when the hot air balloons are also rising in the sky it will be very nice to watch so we will show you also now we are going to room, it's uh, freezing 